Assalamu alaikum, Eid Mubarak. Um, just thought I'd show you guys a few duds that I got in the game chicken. So this nest here, one hen started sitting. Woo! She laid a dozen eggs or so. It's these two hens here I'm talking about, the minor blue, Lloyd minor blue pure, minor blue hens. And the second, the older hen, she decided, well, I've got enough seniority, I'm going to just take over this nest. So both hens have been fighting over it, and both of them are trying to sit on the same nest, and it smells like all the eggs are rotten. They've been broken and jiggled too much. They're not going to hatch. So that is another issue that you have with game chickens and it is also due to their gaminess it's kind of like the survival of the fittest this is my minor blue cock isn't he beautiful i just i'm really proud of him he's so beautiful but that's just an, another issue that you have usually what i do is if i can figure out which hen i started the nest or which hen i just feel should sit there Sometimes I'll take the other hen out and put her in another pen. Because a lot of times if you have more than one hen trying to sit on the same nest, the eggs just don't seem to hatch well. And they're constantly trying to steal them from each other. And what a headache. So I just thought I'd show you that. They don't always hatch. Not every one of them. Um, these are the uh, spangled mugs. And that's the mother and father and the daughter from last year. Now she sat for about a week and a half and then she just quit. So I'm going to throw them eggs out because they're no good now. I'm not sure exactly what convinced her, but I, you know, sometimes young chickens have a few quirks they got to work out yet. So these are my Sid Taylors, and this is one thing you definitely have to uh, look out for when you uh, let the hens hatch them. This chick has fallen out of the nest, and the mother decided that since there's more chicks in the nest, hopefully she don't come after me and try to give it back to her. And she figured since there's more chicks in the nest, she's just going to leave the one that fell out. And uh, I like to put it back, but you got to be careful how you put it back because she might attack me and in the process hurt the chick. Let's see if I can distract her with the phone. When she goes after my phone, I'll throw the chick out of her. Okay, that worked. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is, this hen right here, uh, it's time for her to come out. She doesn't seem to want to take the chicks out. She just feels more comfortable to keep them up there where it's safe. But they need to get out so they can eat. They've been here for probably two days. Chicks can usually last three to four days without anything to eat because right before they hatch, They'll drink all the remaining yolk out of the egg, and that will be enough food for them for two, or three or four days until the mother is able to find them something to eat. In this case, we're going to go ahead and just um, try to take her out. I forgot my gloves, so hopefully she doesn't scratch me up too bad.
This is a, this is a young, young hen. She was born last, mid last summer. These are her first chicks ever. So I'm gonna take them out now. I mean, to hold her because normally when you try to take the chicks, they'll, the hen will come back after you and try to attack you. So let's take all the chicks and put them here on the floor. Oop, that one jumped out. See the chicks? And what I do here is, um, if there are any, especially with a young hen like this, if there are any eggs left that didn't have, I always take them out right away because Sometimes the hen will be tempted to go back to the nest and the chicks can't get there. And if there's eggs in there, they'll still be comfortable. They'll still be content to sit on the, the nest of dud eggs. Whereas if there's no eggs, they'll get up there and then hear the chicks crying and they can't stand it. And they'll jump back down and go take care of the chicks. Eventually they get it that the chicks are, are no longer in that nest and they'll go to wherever their babies are. We'll use a little peek on the... Uh, Toppies. She's still got five chicks left. She had seven originally, so she's lost two. But she's doing pretty good there. What are they? I think they're getting close to being four weeks old now. Starting to get their wing feathers. Just a little update on them. All right, a little update on the hatch pen. That leaper hen, she's sitting in there hiding because this hen here hates her guts and this hen is the boss. And this hen has actually got chicks. What I need to do is catch this hen here. She's really mean too. She's an old hen and she's just grumpy. But she's, uh, what I need to do is take her, since she's hatched already, and move her to another pen because this she won't ever let this hen off her nest and when she hatches she could possibly even try killing her chicks so this hen is kind of you know just hiding there hoping that she won't see her or bother um, so that is one of the issues with game hens they're very uh, finicky and because of their aggressive nature you definitely have to re be there right with them when they first start hatching Let's give her uh, some food. Two. We don't want to make her too agitated, but uh, I guess once I close this door, she'll take the chicks over where to eat. We can peek through this side window here. Try to see exactly how many she has. Okay, okay. I'm telling you, it's a good idea to wear a pair pair of gloves with these guys because my hands are just scratched up already from dealing with them. You see she wants to hit me real bad. Still can't really see. Okay, alright.